Hey guys, it's Kim just coming to you um, live from my office. As you can see, um, I'm just not at not the beach today, but um, I've got a really cool message that I'm going to be talking to you about. Um, and it's something that has come into my awareness today in particular, which is so exciting because it's been an amazing um, reminder for me. So um, as some of you may know, I'm in the second week of Universal Business 2017. Um, it's been an amazing journey already um, with uh, lots of reminders and aha moments because this program has been running for a couple of years now. So um, it's great to revisit some of it. There's been a lot of additional information come into this. And this is what I want to talk about today, which is the topic of making money the reason, sorry, making money the result, not the reason. So when I say that is that a lot of people will do things to make money. Um, and, and you know, if that works for some people, then I think that's awesome. Keep doing that. But if you're one of those people who you know, keeps trying to make money and it's not working, this may be something that you might want to look at. So the the phrase make money the result not to the reason is really based around knowing and trusting that the money will be there when you do these certain things. So it's making it the result of what you do, not the purpose or the reason. So make money the result, not the reason, comes from this process of listening and acting on our thoughts immediately, not from the heavy energy of needing money. When we need money, it puts so much pressure, if you want to call it, on money that it's, it then it's, it causes what you want to probably call a block of bringing it to you. But that doesn't mean don't love money because we all love money. It just means that to make your intention to work or to act has to really come more from a purposeful place than just making money. So making it your purpose to follow the guidance, make it your purpose to, um, to do what you love to do, make it your purpose just to live, um, live guided, listen and act to the information that comes through. Um, and when you run your life from this sole purpose, Money is always the result, and that has been always my experience. So all universal laws tell us that it's not about the money, it's what we wanna do with the money, which is really important. So why on earth have we been focusing on the money? <laughs> when money is just paper, actually I've got some fake little money bits here, money is just paper, um, and it really isn't a purposeful thing, and it's what we actually put the meaning on what money means to us, which can actually stop it from coming to us. So in most cases with businesses and, and so forth, especially in the old way, um, and this is where I could talk, you know, I teach a new way of business, which is the universal business, in the old traditional business way, um, most of business is mainly focused and driven by money, but in universal business, we see money a little bit differently. So in the universal business process, money is reflective of our inner being and our inner um, self. And it shows us where we're going with the flow within ourselves and when we're trusting ourselves and trusting the process or if we're not going in the flow internally. It also shows us our own perceived value of something. Again, it's all perceived and not real, but you can make it whatever you want it to be. Money is also just another form of energy. So like everything else in the universe, as I said, this is just a piece of paper, right? It's not real money, but if you make this, put a value on this, then it's actually worth something as a perception. You perceive that to be worth something. But again, it's just perception and it's just a meaning. It can mean nothing at all and you can get away with that and that's fine. But it's, it's just looking into what do you, like what kind of responsibility do you put on money? What kind of meaning do you put on money? Because that could be stopping you from receiving it. Um, so it's just another form of energy, just like everything else. And if you see it like that, and if it's not flowing to you, there is a block in your flow and you're block, block, blocking your energy around that. And then money, if it is allowed to flow, is actually endless, unlimited and easy to get. It takes the same amount of effort 
to get one million dollars as it is does to take to get one dollar so you can manifest one dollar as much as in is in a million dollars as much as easy as, as you can manifest a dollar it's actually our perception the responsibility and the beliefs and the meaning that we put on money that stops it from coming just as easy so if you think it's easy to to get a dollar or to make a dollar just know that you can also think that it's just as easy to make earn receive a million dollars and that is actually a reality in the universe we need to look at where we where our beliefs are that it's harder or that it's bigger um, because that's actually not true when we look at how easy it is to bring it into our reality so there's actually no lack of money in the universe because when we flow with the universal powers and the universal laws, we flow with the energy of the universe, the money just flows as well. So if you're struggling with money, it's never, never the money that you really want. It's what the money can bring you. So looking into what you're really needing that you think money can give you. So giving these things to you in the present moment or bringing these things into your awareness in the present moment will align this energy into your external reality and provide the money that you want or need to do it. So it's never about the money. So it's time that everyone stopped blaming the lack of money for where you are or why you can't do something because it's never about the money. And I see it all the time, people struggling. I mean, God, I'm one of them lots of times. <laughs> people struggling with money problems and how money affects so many people that breaks spirits, drive people to suicide, breaks down marriages, creates greed, jealousy and anger. And people just feel less than when they don't have money. And it makes them wish that they could have it and it become, becomes a really big need. Need. So those who do have it then sometimes feel guilty, alone, insecure, um, they work crazy hours, have no life and sometimes question you know, whether their friendships are real or if it's just because I'm wealthy and got lots of money. So but really who wins? when it comes down to the fact that it's just money. So when we really look at it, it's not about what the it's not about the money at all, it's what the money can bring us. Um, and so if we're looking at is it security, choice, freedom, success, opportunities, lifestyle, relationships, fame, whatever it is, what if I said you could have all of that, you just need to feel and think it right now in the moment. So I've spoken about how you can feel these things and make believe as to what we can in our current situation and when it's not in our in our scenario right now. So the thing is, you know, make it like the fake it till you make it scenario. And we can just do this with small baby steps. It's not saying, well, I want to travel overseas um, and I need money to do that. And, and I say, well, make, you know, fake it till you make it. And I'm not saying pretend that you're traveling overseas because really in a reality, if we, if our subconscious knows that we're pretending, it's going to keep us pretending and it's not going to bring it into our reality. So we need to bring, bring these things into our reality right now with baby steps. So what do you need the money for? What can the money do for you? And whatever that is, when you show the universe you already have that thing, it will bring more of it to you. So prove to the universe that you already feel what it is that you're desperately wanting to feel with these small baby steps. So I'll give you some examples. Um, if you want money for more freedom, then prove that you are free by going for a walk. If you want money for security, look around you. Are you safe right now? Do you have a roof over your head? food on the table. If you do, then you are already safe and secure and feel it right now. The universe will then bring more scenarios of you feeling safe and secure in the future. If you want money to travel, start your own traveling adventure by going to your local beach, park, town, go to a place that you've never been to before, but which is five, 10 minutes away and start your traveling experiences there then the universe will bring you more traveling experiences. And if you want money for more choices, prove that you're already able to make choices by going to make a cup of tea, watching a movie, going to bed early. They are all choices that you make. And in fact, you make choices every second of the day, but you don't acknowledge it. So start to acknowledge that you always have choices and the universe will bring you more experiences to show you that you have lots of choice and that you're never stuck. So there's no excuse anymore. You can't blame money for why you can't do things anymore. So start right now changing your measure of thinking that money will give you these things and work with what is in your current reality right now and make it true and make that your truth right now and bringing, bringing this into your life, into your reality right now. So the universe is all about vibration and the highest vibration is love and it's the most powerful 
vibration in the universe. So what I'm talking about is not that whole lovey-dovey love, like oh, I love him or I love that. It's actually passion, passionate love, like that heart palpitating, body shaking, mind blowing love. So when it comes to vibration and attraction, you can't get a higher level than love. So it makes sense to me is that why do we wish for money, which is external to us, when we can just create the love inside of us by making a choice to do it? So we can have whatever we desire right now by changing our mindset and bringing it inside of us to then create more of that on the, on the external. But what if we just did things purely for love, like the most powerful you know, resource and force in the universe? What if we just did things for love? And if money was a form of compensation for the love that you gave out and shared? So looking, say for example, you looked after people because you love to make them feel special and, and make them feel loved. Or if your intention was doing anything in business and in life um, because it feels like it feels lovely to you, it feels great to send the love out to people, um, what happens is the universe will then compensate you with money. What if that was true? Do you think the world would be a different place if we made love the incentive for, for creating something rather than money i actually think this can be our reality and love can end up being more valuable than than money because love just like money is endless but love is actually what we really we are really wanting and also what we love to send out so when we make when we make it love, make our purpose around love and sending out love rather than money, and it can be our new intention for why we do things, it feels really good to send out that love rather than doing it for the money. Um, so if lives, businesses, countries were all run this way, our world would look really different. Um, if lives, um, oh, if sorry, I'm just repeating myself. <laughs> because when love is the intention, money is always in abundance and it's always there. So when you do things for love in the absence of fear, worry, concern, frustration, then absence will result. But no one will ever be without, no one would be struggling and no one would be alone. And because we're all one, we'll all be mirroring each other's love. <laughs> the power of love is a force that can actually change the world. So imagine if big business operated purely for love, that their intentions would be treating people as special rather than numbers, that they would want to provide the absolute best product and service, knowing that the more love and passion they put into what they're doing, the more money that will come back to them. That they would treat the planet with love, knowing that the more love they put into the planet and that they you know, can serve it, the more love they will get back from it. And that will then create inexhaustible levels, levels of produce, raw materials and supplies, and the planet will love in return by giving us plentiful supplies and there won't be lack. And then if small businesses operated from love, you know, how beautiful. If all doubt, fears and worries about money, competition, stress and overwork would disappear, small business owners could really have fun. Um, so going forward with opportunities and dreams that they love, because when the intention is for love, they receive much more love back in the form of money as in exchange for the love that they give and share. There would be an unlimited flow of money funding these opportunities of love because these opportunities are only creating more love for everyone. And imagine if politicians ran our countries from a place of love. I know the planet and the world would look a very different place. There would be no country struggling. There would be no land barren. There would be only encouraging people to create more love and supporting them every step of the way. Because they know that the more love people have and the more love that they give and share, the more money and food there is for everyone. There would be no wars, there would be no power play, and there would be no misery. And I know that you probably think I'm living in La La Land, but I'm not. I have experimented and studied energy and vibration around this, and I've seen how much stronger love is around any other power known to man. And I know and believe and have tested that when we do things for love, when our main intention is for love and the main goal and focus is for love, is that money then is everywhere and there is no no limits to anything so we can all have whatever we want when we change our whys to love and it's all inside of us right now like we have love inside when we have a heart that beats with love so make the decision now to just make love your new reason if you're struggling in life how can you change everything you do into the energy of love if you're struggling in business how can you provide 
more services and more products from a place of love and that every person who experiences your product and service gets to experience the love that you have in return for them. Um, it's amazing process and I have been shown that we will be compensated. There is a law of compensation that says that when 